Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Palmy and in today's video we'll be looking at Irish shaders and how Irish shaders can save you a lot of money and not also save you a lot of money but make your clothes and props give them that unique look. Let's go take a look. Okay, so here we are in Dad's studio. I've got my male figure here and my female figure and I've got these items here as well which I'll explain later on. So today obviously we're looking at shader presets, IRA shader presets and how um, they can really save you a lot of money. I wish I knew this earlier. I wouldn't have bought so many clothes. Would I waste all my clothes? I would have just bought shaders and you know I would have saved a lot of money. But anyway let's get on with this tutorial. So the first thing here is we're going to talk about uh, mats. Mats which are mats which are short for materials. So mats, here's our wonderful handwriting. Versus shaders. I'm just gonna write shaders. Mats versus shaders. Ignore the handwriting. That's because I'm doing it with a mouse, but you get the point. Mats versus shaders. So materials. So every item or every object in Dash Studio has comes with the uh, materials. So for example, this top here this top here there we go. so this top here um, comes with materials so if I click on it here which is called the behave outfit and then on the left hand side materials here we go on the smart content panel materials I click on it and these are the preset materials that I can apply to this clothing item so I can change the color double click there and now it's you know change to um, green there okay so the, what materials do is they just apply to that certain object so some objects come with specific materials which you can apply to however shaders you can apply to anything any object in the scene so that's the great thing about shaders you can apply to any object and I'm going to show you that right now so to do that we need to use our wonderful surface tool so this one here our surface tool click on that and then as I move my mouse over the clothing, you'll see it highlights specific parts of the clothing. You'll see it's kind of yellow there, yellow there. So let's say, for example, if I wanted, I don't know, this bit here, this bit here, highlighted those bits. So what I can do now is go to my surfaces uh, tab here. And here you can see, look, uh, behave outfit top, which is this here. Um, cloth three, which is over here. So this obviously outfit is made up of different cloths, different surfaces. So cloth three here, and I can change that. So if I go to my presets here, the presets tab, shaders, and then IRA, and I can also choose from either, all of these lists here. Um, some of these you won't have because I've purchased extra things, but uh, the majority of them you, you will have as a default. So say for example, oh, actually I want, I don't know, leather. And I've only got one leather here. I'll double click that. And there you go. It's changed to leather on that side. So if I just click off that now, you'll see. Just click off. There you go. You've got leather there. So instantly we've changed the way that piece of clothing looks. And we've done it for free basically. Uh, what's come with the um, Dash Studio program. We haven't paid for anything. Yes, we pay for the clothing, but it means we don't have to buy the extra. Um, textures that we that be that the uh, pro product sell and you can buy extra textures for these here so we wouldn't have to buy those we can just use our preset ira uh, shaders to change that so we can do clothing we can do all sorts of clothing so if we do my surface section 2 again and say i wanted to change the the texture of these so the way this looks as well so just gonna check the editor, make sure it's selected. Yep, the pants are selected, so the belt won't change. So the pants, I can do all if I want to, so I can select everything. So we can do now everything's selected, including the belt. Uh, I'll go to presets here, and let's say fabric. What have we got for fabric? Okay, let's try, we'll do something crazy, I don't know. Uh, let's do, should we do hair? See what happens, hair. IRA blended dual lobe shader here. Well, let's have a look, see what happens when you do that. So double click that. Hopefully it won't take too long to render. And there we go. It's going to be an unusual look there, but there you go. Now we've got a, a completely a completely unique garment, completely unique clothing. You know, very uh, unique clothing there. And that's, uh, you know, very good for that shaders. There you go. 
Not only can we do that, we can actually actually change the shaders for the actual skin here. So for on this uh, female uh, figure and the hair. So if you know, for example, uh, from the X-Men, uh, Emma Frost, she uh, her ex her mutant uh, ability is to turn into diamond. We can make that happen here as well. So all we need to do is click here on uh, the figure name AI and go to the surfaces. Uh, go to the editor, sorry. And what I want to do is here AI, and I want to go to surfaces. Make sure all the surfaces are selected. Good. I go to presets. Go to shaders. Hire again. And we go to diamond. I think it's a crystal actually. There we go, diamond. Don't click that. And there we go. Really, really cool diamond effect there. So say if you want to do like glass figurines or something like that. There you go. Glass figurine there. Yes, the hair wasn't done because it wasn't selected. So if I actually go here and choose the hair. Here, here, here. There is Linda Ponytail. Go to editor, select that and go back to my presets, shaders, eye ray, crystal and diamond. And there we go. So we got our Emma Frost, X-Men Mutant or our Diamond figurine. So there you go, something really cool you can do there as well. So the same thing here with, um, with the male figure I've got here. I've got different uh, service so section tool, don't forget that. There we go. So as I move my mouse over this, you'll see the different areas that are being selected. I'm not doing anything, I'm just moving my mouse over the, the actual clothing and it, and it will individually select those panels or that part of the clothing that is uh, being selected by that tool. So if I wanted to change the, the boots for whatever reason, if I move my mouse over there, it'll start selecting particular surfaces of that boot. I click there and say, oh, I don't like the black there. I want to change it to something else. So shaders, uh, rubber surfaces, preset shaders, eye ray. And I want the boots to have, oh, I don't know. Not leather, we did leather already. Oh, liquids, let's try liquids. Uh, let's try water, let's see what it looks like. And I'll just click off there. And there we go. We've got some cool water effect, giving it like a see-through effect. There you go, that's what it looks like. So you can really tailor and, you know, change the uniqueness of the clothing, that of the existing clothing you already have. So it's gonna save you a lot of money. Obviously, you'll have to buy more shaders. Uh, these are the ones that come with DAS Studio here, but I do recommend that you go and buy uh, shaders from the DAS store, wherever you want to buy from. And you know, that will give you a lot more variety of what you can do with the existing clothing that you have. Okay, so obviously in this case as well, what I can do is do the same for him. I can change the, uh, the shade of his skin. So, Trajan, that's his uh, name of this uh, figure. Go to my editor, go to my Genesis 8 mail, no one, uh, where is he gone? There he is, Trajan. Go down, surfaces, make sure all the surfaces are selected, they are good. Go to presets, shaders, so you might have seen in X-Men again, I don't know why I'm referencing X-Men, it's just something that comes to your mind. Uh, Colossus, he's got the metal uh, arm, uh, you, you know, even uh, from, um, uh, the MC universe, you've got a uh, Winter Soldier with the metal arm, so you could do that. So we go to metals here, and I'm going to give a metal arm. I don't know what the metal arm is. Uh, let's say all oh, titanium. That sounds cool. So I'm going to make his arm, all his arm. Sorry. So I need to actually use the section tool. Choose his arm. That's what I want is the arm. You're gonna give me the arm, there we go, got the arm there. No, I haven't. Okay, there we go, got the arm now. Um, obviously, I can select the arm from here, so I can go to surfaces here, so editor, uh, trajan, and then surfaces and just select the arm there. So go back to my presets, and I'm gonna do that uh, one that I like, titanium, see what it looks like. There we go, got a titanium arm, so we've got a winter soldier type titanium arm. Or Colossus. Obviously, I haven't done this bit here, but 
I could go into the editor and then change that as well. So there's lots of cool things you can do to make your characters very unique. Um, the shaders play an excellent part in this. It's going to save you a lot of money and you know you can do some really, really cool stuff. Okay, so now we're going to look at this here. These are actually primitives and these were used, created using the um, shaders. The free shaders that are in that studio that I just showed you here. And I'll show you how I did this. Very, very uh, easy to do. It looks, it basically looks like a roll. It looks like a prop that I bought, but actually it's not a prop. I made it myself. So you can actually do this, you know, a bit of effort, a bit of time. You can create your own props. So I'm just going to take off the eye remote so my machine doesn't go crazy. Um, so I've got to create and I've got a new primitive. And it's a plane. So these are planes, which is like a flat 2D kind of uh, object, basically. And a Y positive, so basically it's on the ground. It will start off the ground. Uh, it will start off on the ground. So do accept. So there it is. I'm just gonna uh, move it back a bit. So here it is, plane four. Uh, I'm just gonna do Z translate it back. It's quite big actually. I'm just gonna scale it down a bit because actually it's a bit big. There we go. So there it is. That's the one I put there. So I'm just gonna go back into IRA mode. So there it is, and that's our plane. So I want it to look like this. So all I need to do is my planes here. I'm going to go to the surfaces tool, editor, plane. So I've clicked on that, my presets, IRA, and I wanted, uh, I think it was concrete. Now I can't remember which one it was. I think it's this one here, concrete. There you go. So there you go, concrete looks like concrete flooring, something cars would drive over, you would probably walk on, you know, nothing fancy. There you go. So you're probably wondering, how did I get these um, blocks here as well? Same thing, really. It's a, just a primitive. It's just a primitive, a plain primitive. So I'll go to create a uh, new primitive plane. It's probably too big. 10 meters, I'm going to do one. There it is, plane five. So I'm just going to said translate that back. Put it there and then I'm just going to scale it down a bit scale I want to scale actually yeah, we can just do the whole scale so it looks like the markings in a road so there we go and although that looks almost like this it doesn't so what I did here was to make give it that more whiteness is plane 5 go to surfaces editor make sure I select the plane surface plane 5 surface go to presets Shaders, eye ray, and I did, that's it, sorry, it was ceramic. I did ceramic and I did porcelain. So that's how easy you can do it. So obviously this here was a cube. So all I did was create a new uh, primitive. And this time I chose a cube. Five meters, probably too big. Maybe one meter will be enough. So there it is. And all I did was resize it. So I just uh, went to the uh, parameters for that cube resized it, put the scale down, you know, a decent height. And then I obviously added a, go to surfaces, editor, make sure it's selected, presets, shaders, uh, IRA, and then it was again concrete. And I think I just chose uh, concrete measured. And there you go. And these are just several sections. So these are just several small sections, as you can see, just put together with a bit of gap in between to give that kind of concrete type of look. So as you can see, you can use it on anything. You can use it, uh, shaders on anything with with materials, you, with the mats or materials, same thing. You can only use them on specific objects that have the actual materials with them. So another quick point uh, while we're here as well is these here. So what are these are here is I've created groups. So you can create groups. So for example, um, my plane four and five, which are, this here, four and five are these here. If I wanted to copy these both together, you can create a group. So if you go to here, you go create a new group. Uh, obviously you'd give it a name, but I'll just leave it as groups. Click accept. So there's my new group. And what I can do now is put that into my group. And there's my group now. So if you click on here, you'll see that with my group, I've got plane four, which is this here, and plane five, which is this white here, the white line that I did. So it's group three. Now what I could do now to very easily copy and make another copy is I can go to create, uh, sorry, edit, 
duplicate and duplicate node hierarchies. So it's created another group. So I'll go to parameters and all I need to do now to extend this is just move my X axis across. So there we go. And I made a copy, very simple, very easy. A very effective way of creating a role if you want to create a role. So obviously you can buy shaders. I highly recommend you, you know, buy shaders or use the ones that are in with Dash Studio to give you unique, your scenes that really unique look, to give your characters a really unique look. And you know, something is very, very something you do very simple, very, very effective uh, tool shaders to really, really enhance your uh, digital art. So there we have it. We know the difference between mats and Irish shaders and why Irish shaders are really, really cool. Remember, you can use Irish shaders on any surface. So you can use them on figures, you can use them on props, backgrounds, primitives. Very, very cool. Very, very great way to create uniqueness in your scene. So make sure you use those. And in next week's video, we'll be looking at how to create unique characters. So I've got a message on Instagram asking me um, how can we create unique characters. And that's what we'll be looking at next week in next week's video. Because not we don't want to see everybody with Michael uh, 8 and Victoria 8 figures. And we want unique characters. So that's what we're going to look at. And while you're waiting for that video, make sure you check out these videos here. Make sure you hit the subscribe button here. Make sure you leave a comment below. And make sure this video gets a lot of likes, uh, thumbs up. Because I think I've saved you money here talking about Irish shaders. So I think that deserves a couple of likes. And I'll see you in that next video.